Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a, a collective haul for the last couple of months. Um, it's going to be items that I got offline um, from Killstar, Grindstore, Blue Banana and eBay and also something I got from a charity shop. I put the price down in the corner of the screen, um, which I got them from, some of them were in the sale. So I'll put the original price and the sale price. Um, and I'll put a link down in the description so that um, you can go straight to the website um, and see these items. So I'll begin with eBay. Um, first off I got this black pleather looking t-shirt um, it didn't have a size it was just a one size fits all the quality of it is very good um, it's not it's, it's quite a soft pleather it's not that kind of sticky one the detail which I did particularly like was the sleeves which have a fold on them I'm very happy with the quality of this product um, for the cheap price which I paid. The second item which I got was a crop top, um, also from eBay. Um, it's also sort of this shiny sort of pleather material which um, has an almost swimming costume feel to it. When I, did, when I bought it I did think that this zip on the front was going to be functioning. It does move but there is fabric behind it. It doesn't have a size, it's just a one size thing again. Um, the back is got is quite stretchy so it can cater for the majority of sizes. It also has some padding in the chest area which means that you don't need to wear a bra when you're wearing it. complaint which I do have with this item is how the, the zip is actually attached. I don't know if you can see but it is starting to come apart after only one use. However this can easily just be hand sewed back down again. The next item which I got was a hoodie. Um, I got it in a large because I wanted it to be quite oversized. Um, it's a Bring Me The Horizon hoodie and it's got the flower of life printed on the back of it. Um, this hoodie was more on the expensive side, what I'd pay for just a zip up black plain hoodie. Um, but it's a very good quality and the material is very soft. The sizing is very large so um, personally I would go down a size um, for what your size is. It also has this writing on the chest print itself is almost like an iron-on one so it feels slightly different from the actual material of the hoodie um, the only downside to this is it does slightly crack I mean you can't see it that much but if you are paying attention to detail that is something you may want to consider I'm very happy with this hoodie and although it cost me a lot of money I can tell it's going to last me a long time. The next item I purchased was from Grindstore um, and it's actually by the Make Jawbreaker. It's a long t-shirt dress with a sort of netted skull print material at the back of it. The print is one of these iron-on ones again. Um, I have worn it a couple of times and it doesn't seem to have cracked or peeled um, at all, so it's of a good quality. Um, the actual print is of a stag beetle um, and it's got various skulls and eyes and bones around it. Um, another element to it, which I didn't realise when I bought it, was that when you look at the the ends, the corners of the dress, it's actually split like this, so that's how you'd imagine it to be, and it's actually split like this. Um, I wasn't quite sure about it when I got it, but it does give quite a nice flowing effect around the bottom. 
Um, I personally would wear sort of a tank top or like a bandeau underneath this just because it is very see-through on the back. And I'm really happy with this product. Um, it is not quite long enough to just be worn as a dress, I don't think. It just it depends how tall you are. I'm five foot four. Um, and I think just putting a plain black sort of tube skirt underneath of it goes perfectly because it just adds that, that one more inch. The next item the next items which I'm gonna show you are from the website Killstar. Um, the first one is just this fat dress. Um, it's in a skater style. Um, I got this dress in a size large. Um, it's 100% cotton, so it's very soft and flowing, um, and it's it fits it fits really well. Um, it also has this little button detail at the back. The print itself is actually um, on the material; it's not an iron-on one. And this means that, you know, I've washed it a couple of times and it hasn't cracked or run. I know with Killstar that you pay a little bit more, but I know every time it'll be guaranteed quality and this is just a, a very nice piece. So the second item is also from Killstar, it's another skater style dress. Um, it's exactly the same, it's got the, the loop at the back. This one's covered in love hearts. The thing I do like about these dresses is they fit really well um, around the waist and um, they do come down just above the knee, so they're not too short. So a thing I do like about these dresses is they're very flowy, breathable, um, and they're perfect for the summer, um, but they can also be teamed up with a cardigan um, during, the, during the colder months of the year. I'm very happy with this item. Again, um, I did get this one in also a size large, the same as the other one, and I think this is just a very safe buy from Killstar anything in this kind of cut. Um, I have done a t-shirt review for Killstar on this YouTube channel before um, and I just love the t-shirt so much um, that I bought another one. I got the Wednesday Adam themes one um, and it just says Wednesday Adams is my spirit animal and it's got um, different little doodles so here's her doll which she, the head comes off and um, a planchette a meat cleaver and then obviously that's just her hair and her collar and some poison. You've got a crescent uh, moon on there. Um, I do I do think on the site you can't actually see it in as much detail um, as it is in real life. A bit I do really like is just the font where it says spirit animal um, and the detail that's gone into putting the chains which are linking sort of the letters together at the bottom. I just thought this was a really nice um, element to the, to the top. I got this t-shirt in a size large because I do like my t-shirt slightly baggy um, and it does still fit nicely. Um, I'm really happy with this product again um, and I'm definitely planning to buy some more t-shirts from Killstar in the future. This one is more of a DIY project. Um, I got a leather jacket, it did have the arms on it from a, uh, from a charity shop and I just cut the arms off uh, and made it into a vest because it's perfect for the summer now that the summer months are coming. 
um, it's something light that you can just throw over an outfit and just make it slightly more interesting to look at I guess <laughs> and I bought some studs um, I got these all off of eBay for really cheap um, so these ones are all stainless steel and they've got um, they're actually screw on ones so I put them right through the actual seam of the shoulder um, and screwed them on and I put a little safety pin there just to make sure it doesn't start to fray and then on the back I've got um, sort of the more pyramid square ones which again was just sort of like a 120 piece job off of eBay for £2 um, and these are the ones where you fold each of the spiky corners down um, I then also bought some fabric paint um, I painted a small little spider web here and also these two um, patches for animal liberation against animal testing. It's, it's a good um, quality jacket. It does have this um, slight sort of. It does have this sort of elastic bottom to it, which is not ideal. But for the price I paid, it was it was worth it. Um, I am looking to do a few more, or maybe without this bottom bit um, which come down slightly further in the body um, but I am really happy with it and it's a really easy way just to create something great for summer and personalise it a bit. Um, obviously this is an ongoing, an ongoing project and I may do a few updates on how I have created these. Um, I may do a few updates on different modifications I've done to jackets and possibly clothes. Um, so if you do have any suggestions, please leave them down in the comments. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like if you enjoyed this. Um, I'm going to try and make these sort of collective hauls sort of a monthly thing, um, possibly um, just revolving around one company if I buy a lot from one place. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time, bye!